All right, hey everyone. Um, I'm making this video to directly address the concerns that I have been seeing on the first Guitarx or how to install Guitarx video I've made uh, over a year ago at this point. So, uh, for those of us who aren't using Arch, realize that you would need to take a few extra steps to be able to install. Cadence and Cadia, the two that you'll, uh, the two pieces of software you'll need on top of Guitarx to get it working correctly. The um, because you don't have the AOR, it's not as uh, straightforward as looking it up in apt and installing it because it would not be there by default. So to do to address that, you're going to need to go to this website, uh, which is the you know the site for the repo that. That all the these pieces of software that you'll need are is located. So you'll do you'll run these down here. And once you do, you'll find that in apt you you will see all the software that you need. Cadence and Cadia. And what you'll do is and you'll install them by uh, via apt and uh, and you should have them. Next this is the easier part, of course. It's the it's installing Guitarx. It will say sudo apt install Guitarx, and I already have it, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother running this. But it's just it, it's already in the default apt uh, repository, so it'll be there. And once you've done that, it's the same as previously. You'll open Cadence, configure. Make sure you're using the right audio interface. For me, it's this one, same as last time. And highest uh, sample rate your audio interface will support, but no higher. Don't try doing higher; it will not end well. Uh, buffer size as low as you can make it without getting X runs. So you experiment with that. But right now I'm leaving it at 512 uh, for good, but yeah, good but safe performance without having to experiment too much. Once that's good to go, you can go ahead and start the Jack server using Cadence here. Now that it's running, you'll want to go into Cadia. Once you have Cadia here, you'll see, just like in the previous video, for those of you have who have watched it, you see there's a little bit of a graphical connection, visual scripting type thing. But uh, for right now, all you have is the two captures on, on the audio interface. Uh, going through, in my case, pipe wire. You may not have this if you're using Pulse Audio or you will not have this if you're using Pulse Audio, excuse me. Um, but most of us who are using PipeWire these days, you'll have this here. This doesn't really, don't mess with this because it's just standard audio business to you know, hear things on your system. Uh, next order of business is to open Guitarx. Once that's open, it will automatically bring in the app head and the effects, and that will go directly to your system playback, or and if not, you just connect your two capture sources into zero, out goes, it, this is already set up by default, but in the event it isn't, out zero in zero, and these two go to your one and your two, and you may have more, but one and two typically work. You may need to experiment, but in my case, this. Now, um, you will not hear this yet, but you can already see with the bar here that it's already picking up the guitar and working as intended, and I can hear it. But in my case, I will add a um, Jack input client to OBS so you can see it. And once that's in, you'll notice this showed up too as another output. So what we'll do is take out one or out zero, out one, put them in. And now you can hear. And it's just as simple as that. Once it works, it works. No, no problems. And you may need to experiment to make things sound correctly, but of course, this is just a matter of uh, messing with the settings. At that point, you mess with however you like. Like, uh... And works just fine. Uh, I'm sorry, this has been a quick one, but it was more or less just to address quick concerns. By the way, I should mention, this is uh, just to point out that it's uh it, it works with it, it's not as so much of a witchcraft type thing where it would just magically work so i'm using a complete, completely different computer in this case a laptop as a matter of fact 
and uh, works perfectly. No issues to speak of. Uh, it did take a little bit of uh, looking into to get this working correctly, but this is Ubuntu, of course. And uh, And yes, there you go.